In this video, I'm going to show you the best coverage adjustments to defend tight slots halfback week in Madden 23. This is one of the best offenses in the game. And to defend this formation, we're going to be utilizing the $3-2 defense. Now, if you want to get my entire $3-2 defensive ebook, we actually dropped some brand new updates to it over on our Patreon. Uh, Patreon members get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is going to be down uh, in the description. Now, typically people are going to audible into tight slots from bunch. You're not going to need to flip your play or anything like that uh, to run this specific defense. So we're just going to come out in the tight slots halfback week. Now, real quick, uh, so coaching adjustments that I'm going to recommend is to go ahead and put your zone coverage on match. You're going to put your curl flats on zero. You're going to then come up here, put your option defense on conservative, ball in air defense to play ball or play receiver, auto alignment to base. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come out in the $3-2 uh, DB Fire 2, and we are going to make some fairly straightforward adjustments. It's going to be very effective for stopping the majority of what tight slots have to do. Now, this defense is predicated on the fact that pressure busts pipes, and we're trying to force our opponent to make a mistake um, as and, and at the same time limiting the big play potential of this formation. All right? So DB Fire 2, here's they're going to give you two setups. One is a send 5, and one is a send 4. Now, what we're going to do every time is we're going to press, we're going to walk these safeties down into the box, and then typically what we're going to do is we're going to want to use this uh, linebacker right here. Now, the coverage adjustments that we're going to make um, specifically is this. This is the four or the five man pressure. We are going to put this cornerback on the outside in an outside quarter zone, not an outside third, outside quarter zone. We're going to take that safety on the left side. We're going to put him into a middle third or rotate him into the middle third. We're then going to take that linebacker on the left side to put him in that zero yard curl flat. And then, like I said, we're going to bring these guys down. Now, what I actually really like to do over here on the right side is you can take that safety and you could man him up on that outside receiver and then man up that outside corner on the tight end. Or you could just leave it uh, just like we have it right here. And what you're going to notice is, again, the pressure is going to come in relatively quickly. And also, you got to trust kind of what your stuff's going to happen. So like a setup like this, very popular. What we're going to do is we're going to go from the tight end to the post. So we're going to jump the tight end, and then we're going to go back to the post. And as you can see, that pressure is coming in super, super quick. Now, when we jump into replay, I just want to show you kind of what's going on. Now, again, most people are going to run these uh, this formation with their tight end to uh, the wide side of the field. So what that means is you're going to have this short side flood concept. Now, this guy has deep out zone knockout. So if I throw this ball about right here, that's going to be a, I can click on the defender, kind of drag him over. And then notice this is why the pressure is so important. You see that here, the quarterback is getting uh, pressured. And if he tries to throw this ball here, that's not going to be open. Now, if I wait on this and throw it about over in this area right here, that's a little bit different. Still going to be kind of a close throw. And we're going to kind of live with the fact that this is going to be a hard throw uh, to consistently make. Okay. From there, you have this, this middle third is going to be able to defend the streak. It's also going to defend any kind of back post over the middle of the field. This zero yard curl flat, you're going to see here, it's going to really jump down on this flat route relatively well. Um, and then you also, if you take a look at this tight end, sometimes this happens a lot actually where the tight end gets bumped. The tight end is going to be coming kind of in this area. And so we're going to be using uh, this post route trying to kind of basically split the difference on the two quick routes. Now, another thing that you can do to make that linebacker a little bit better against running back seam streaks, let's say, for example, that they're running a play like this four verticals where they streak the running back and they do a setup like this. What we can do uh, out of this sin four or a sin five version is instead of put that linebacker in a uh, purple, we're going to put him in a hard flat. Now, what you're going to notice is we're also going to put a cloud over there on the right side. And then what will happen is we're going to be able to stop both of the flat routes simultaneously. And then we're going to basically just use her uh, over here on this hitch. So you're going to see kind of how this plays out. We're going to go there, kind of lurk back to here. And you see that, again, yes, there's stuff open, but the pressure is going to bust the pipe of the formation. And so what you're going to notice here is this zero yard uh, hard flat will cover this running back for long enough and kind of split the difference between these two routes. 
Then over here, what you can do, if you want to, you could man this guy up on this player if they're running this setup, if they start running this a lot. But I think just getting him down into the box enough will actually, um, especially if you put mid zone knockout on these safeties, it will help significantly with this route right here. And then you're able to lurk back to here. And again, this guy is kind of keeping you, yes, this is open. If I put him in a hard flat, he would guard it. Um, you know, but you can kind of, again, play a little bim, but don't break style football. Now, again, like I said, move these guys down in the box. Ideally, they're about six yards off uh, of the line of scrimmage. I do think that is the best. And let me show you one other thing with this. This time, we're going to show you our sin 4. The only thing about our sin 4 that's really different is we're going to put a vert hook over there on the right side. What that vert hook is going to guard, if when we do put the vert hook, I love to put a cloud flat over there. Um, but when we do put that vert hook over there, that's going to do a really good job of defending um, this concept right here that a lot of people like to go to, which is basically a bench, a, a bench concept. Um, and essentially, you know, you're going to, that vert hook is going to guard that. This is what I'm talking about, about the mid zone KO. If that guy has mid zone KO right there, that's going to be a knockout. Um, and you're going to be able to, you know, pretty much. And again, this is why it's really important to get these safeties down in the box, especially against tight slots. I think that if you can get your safeties down in the box consistently against tight slots, this is one of the better ways to defend it. Um, because that hard flat will split the difference between any running back streak. Another route combo that's really popular right now uh, would be this kind of mesh spot style route combo. This is going to play this relatively well because you're going to be able to pass your slant off to this vertical hook. So essentially what you're going to do here is you're going to use the slant. You can kind of lurk back to here. You see the pressure's coming in by the time they're trying to throw that post route. And again, he's throwing that into mid zone knockouts. These guys right here are the MVPs of this defense. These guys need to have mid zone knockout, deep out zone knockout, and deep route KO. That is going to make this defense significantly better. And again, you want to move them down. I really like about six yards, between six to eight yards from the line of scrimmage. Now on this right side, I just really don't think that there's any value in putting an outside third here because no one really ever runs a corner route over there to the right side. But putting them in a cloud um, or a hard flat is really good for lurking down on any uh, you know motion slants or stuff like that. And then again, uh, if they start to block their running back, one of the things I like to do is go with a send. Uh, definitely want to send five if they are blocking their running back consistently. And this time, what you'll be able to do is if they are blocking their running back consistently, then my recommendation is this cover shell right here. I think this is the best way to defend that because uh, if they block their running back, you're still going to get pressure. It's going to be almost impossible to get anything over open fast enough uh, for the blitz. So this is my favorite way to defend tight slots halfback week right now. If you want to get my entire $1.32 defensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video. Head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.